Welcome in everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at Alien Isolation off camera. This was suggested by viewer Timothy Riddle. Remember, if you want to suggest something, you can leave a comment or even better, join the Discord. The link's in the description. So in this video, we'll be seeing what the alien does when we're not looking at it, how it operates during cutscenes, and I'll lightly explain the different phases of the AI that the Xenomorph uses. To start, we have a close-up of the alien since most of the time you're hiding from it or seeing it from afar, not really getting a good look at it. It's a shame that this game doesn't have an actual photo mode. Then we take the camera inside hoping to find something. But unfortunately, there's nothing but saliva. And since we can pass through it, there's no attack reaction whatsoever. Here, we get to look at one section of the massive space station where the game actually takes place. There's some corpses that I killed earlier, but you can really see the enormity of the station and it being completely dwarfed by the planet behind it. This cutscene is the first time we encounter the alien, and from two different angles. In this first one, we get to see the alien slide and clip through into proper positions. In the second one, we'll get to see the actual spawn. This scene is at the end of the game where the Xenomorph surprises you from this door and I wanted to see if he was loaded in waiting for us before we actually interacted with the door. Next, we have a close-up of one of the face huggers. I honestly hate looking at these things, seeing it properly spread out is pretty disgusting.
here we have the star of this video, T-posing before coming in through a vent. The game is pretty dark when looking above the map, so it's a tad hard to see, but we get some cool stills of the alien here. I'm also going to take the time to explain a little bit of how the AI works. So the game has two different systems in place that work together. A macro AI and a micro AI. The macro AI is this omniscient being that always knows where both you and the alien are, while the micro AI is tied directly to the alien, allowing it to sense and react to the player, enabling it to hunt you down. The macro AI's job is to periodically give the alien hints about where you are. The macro AI will always know where you are, while the micro AI, the alien, has to figure it out, which allows for this unique game of cat and mouse that never really feels uh, unfair because you can still fool and outsmart the alien. Even though the macro AI always knows where you are and can send the alien to your location, if the alien doesn't find you, the macro AI will eventually send it away through the vents after being in close proximity to the player for a certain amount of time. Speaking of vents, I'll also briefly explain the two modes of the alien hunting, front stage and backstage. Front stage, where we see the alien walking around the map, searching or reacting to noise made by the player. Backstage is where the alien moves back into the vent, above the level after being in close proximity for too long or moving to another part of the station, and we hear the dreaded sound of it clanking around in the vents. Here we have footage of the Xenomorph moving into an unloaded portion of the map and heading into a vent. And again, we get some really cool stills of the alien in action until it moves into an unloaded part of the map, killing survivors in a really goofy way. I wanted to see if the alien was really there when saliva would be pouring down from the vents, but unfortunately it's just an animation. 
With that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and comment, join the Discord to suggest other games you'd like to see, and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.